This video describes the essence of quicksort. The basic idea is that we will divide a list into pieces that are sorted uh, with respect to each other until eventually the pieces get so small that they consist of uh, individual data elements, uh, which by definition are uh, sorted. Uh, a list of uh, length one is sorted uh, because there is no way for it to be out of order. Okay, so the way that we partition is we pick a pivot element. We're going to pick the rightmost element and I'm going to write that, part that uh, pivot element down here in the middle and then underline it so we know it was the pivot before. And then we're going to go through the list and see if uh, other elements in the list are less than the pivot or greater than the pivot. So 17 is greater than the pivot, so we're going to write it after the pivot. 5 is less than the pivot, so we're going to write it before the pivot. 32 is greater than the pivot, so we're going to write it after the 17 that's already there, which is after the 12. 63 is also greater than the pivot, so we're going to add it to the end of the list of numbers that are greater than the pivot. 9 is less than the pivot, and so we're going to add it to the list of numbers that are less than the pivot. And so now, this list of numbers is a list of numbers that is all less than the pivot, less than 12. This list of numbers is a list of numbers that is all greater than the pivot. So we know that when the list is fully sorted, these numbers will be first, this number will come after them, and these numbers will be last. The question is, what will be the order of these numbers, and what will be the order of these numbers uh, within their uh, respective uh, lists? So, going to uh, repeat the process again. Um, quick sort uh, recurs on uh, the lists that are formed on either side of the pivot, and so we're going to uh, pick 5 as our pivot element out of this list, and so we're going to write that down here, and then underline it, showing that it was the pivot before, and uh, then we're going to write 9 to the right of it because it's greater than 5, and those were the only two numbers from that list, so uh, that list is now sorted. Uh, because uh, we know that 9 is greater than 5 because we wrote it after the 5 uh, because it was on that side of the pivot and there's no way that the 9 list can be out of order because it contains only one thing. We know that it's greater than 5. We also know that it's less than 12 because we wrote it over here in the first place. Then next we bring down the 12 and these three numbers are in order and then we have this list over here. So we're going to pick the rightmost element of the list as the uh, pivot again, and then we're going to write it here and underline it to show that it was the pivot before. So 17 is less than the pivot, so it's going to go before the 63. And then 32 is less than the pivot, so it's also going to go before the 63, and it'll go before the 17 since the 17 is already next to the 63. So we still have a list of length 2 here, that needs to be sorted. We know this list is sorted, this list is sorted, this list is sorted, and this list is sorted because they're all of length one. And we know that those lists are in the right place with respect to each other because of the process that we followed to get here. We know they're both; these are both less than 12. Uh, we know that this number is greater than five, so these three are in the right order. Uh, we know that this number is uh, the uh, greatest number um, because uh, everything over here has already been shown to be less than it. Okay, so we need to uh, uh, partition 32 and 17 still. So we're going to pick 17 as our pivot. And then before we complete that, I'm going to go ahead and copy down the other numbers. So we copy down 5 and 9 and 12. And then 17 is going to be our pivot, so we'll write it here. And then 32 is greater than that pivot, and I'm also going to underline uh, 17 is equal to pivot. Uh, 32 is greater than that pivot, so we're going to write 32 after 17. And then lastly, we're going to put 63 at the end because uh, we know that 63 is greater than all the other elements. So. We have a list of length 1 that we know is in the right place, a list of length 1 we know is in the right place, another list of length 1 we know is in the right place, another list of length 1 we know is in the right place, another list of length 1 we know is in the right place, another list of 1 we know is in the right place. And since each of the lists of 1 is sorted with respect to itself, uh, we know that this result here is uh, completely sorted. And I'm going to 
circle it just to show that it's the result. So then, quicksort sorts by recursively partitioning a list into uh, three pieces, the pivot, and elements that are less than the pivot, and elements are greater, that are greater than the pivot, and uh, continues doing that recursively until each individual list is only a single data element, in which case that list is sorted, and then we know that uh, the entire list is sorted because we know each list was in the right place with respect to the uh, other lists uh, because that's what we did as we put uh, those items there. We said these things are less than 12, for example, these things are greater than 12. So that <clears throat> this is the essence of quicksort. Um, there are some special cases, and there are certain tricks to do this in place efficiently. I did not talk about those here. I wanted to just demonstrate the general concept. But once you understand the general concept, I think it's fairly easy to see what's going on uh, with the different tricks that are used uh, to do all of this in place uh, inside a single array.